Once you are diagnosed with a skin cancer and it's been decided that you need to have a skin cancer surgery, I always comfort my patients and say, this is something that we do every day. So we'll simply give you some instructions on what you need to do beforehand in regards to possibly avoiding some blood thinners before your procedure, things that you may need to alter for post-procedure as far as any activities, and then expectations of what you're going to experience that day, how long the procedure is, and then ultimately when we'll be seeing you back. Another thing that we discuss with our skin cancer patients when we're letting them know that we definitely need to do a skin cancer procedure, again, is running through the treatment options. Again, our treatment options go from anywhere from doing an excision, meaning cutting it out within a full surgical procedure, versus doing a smaller, quicker procedure called a, an electrodesiccation and curatage, which oftentimes can leave you with less physical restrictions afterwards. And then again, we've got several different skin cancer creams that we use. And then we also do PDT, otherwise known as photodynamic therapy, which is using a blue light combined with an agent called ALA or amino levulonic acid. And that's another way that we can treat superficial type of skin cancers. We ultimately will advise our patients on what we think would be the best recommendation based on their type of skin cancer or where it's located on their body. But then ultimately we do let the patient decide on what type of procedure they would like to proceed with.